Hi everyone, uh, welcome. This is Ask Dr. Alec. It's basically where you ask and I answer. Uh, it's now just after 6.30 p.m. Uh, and just catching up on some social media. I finished with, with my patients. Basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, my day is filled with uh, cosmetic dermatology treatments uh, basically all day. And you yeah, just finished checking out. We had a really amazing uh, question uh, that we received. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that on the Health24 uh, expert panel. Uh, yeah, there you can see me. I'm not sure if, if that can be seen. There's a little photograph of me, the, the anti-aging expert. And here was the, the question was on sagging stomach skin. So I, I basically thought it would be amazing to, there we go. Uh, we can see uh, the question uh, with my answer over there, uh, basically giving it to, to the person. And I decided to post it on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure how many people of you saw it on social media, the, the stomach skin sagging. Um, anyway, a good question. Uh, if you haven't read it or seen it, read it. There's some really, really good answers. Um, but anyway, that wasn't the point of today's, today's episode. We're basically going to be looking at facial cleansers and specifically at the Neostrata range because there's a lot of confusion with should I use a face wash, what and if I do, which one should I use. Uh, we've had previous questions where they basically said that uh, by using the face wash and then washing it off, you're just throwing money down the drain. Well, it's not. that's not 100% true. So I'm going to go around and let's have a closer look at these different face washes. And today, basically, I'm gonna be focusing on the Neostrata face washes only. Uh, and then we'll have a look at a later stage at all the different SkinCeuticals ones. Now, basically what I've done is I've divided it into those which are used for normal skin or untargeting treatments or unspecific with their treatments and those that are very specific for their treatments. And we'll go through some of the ingredients and why they're important. So the first one I'm going to be mentioning is the Neostrata Facial Cleanser. This one basically is your general entry-level face wash that, that most probably should be used in the age group of 35 and younger. Uh, suitable for all skin types, a, a soap-free. Uh, it can be used even in people who suffer from rosacea or have sensitive skin. And uh, basically, it contains some polyhydroxy acids, uh, which will help to uh, not only remove debris and exfoliate the skin in a gentle manner, and, and I'm going to speak about that just now, but it also helps to improve or increase the cell turnover to make more collagen and elastin. So it's a very early start to the anti-aging regime. So basically, it should be used by people 35 or so and younger. Now, uh, I mentioned about exfoliating washes. Um, it's, it's, a lot of people are using scrubs which contain granular particles or have a harsh uh, surface that rubs the skin and that really should not be done. Very simply, the, the reason for that is our skin has what is known as a normal pH balance. And when that gets altered, which typically happens with your with your granular or harsh type of scrubs then it reacts by either becoming overly dry uh, and sensitive or by producing excessive sebum which then builds more blackheads pores brings bacteria and starts uh, causing blemishes and even uh, small pimples so it's really something that i would recommend you staying away Okay, so what, what, what does Neostrata have for the 35 year olds and older? That's the, from their skin active range, basically is the exfoliating wash. That's the one uh, that I started using recently. Uh, a really good face wash. It is a type of a mousse uh, consistency. It applies very easily over the face, uh, all over, uh, including uh, on the neck uh, area. And basically what, what this one does is it contains um, a patented type of ingredient from the strata called Synergy Formula 8.5. And its main aim is to basically exfoliate that dead layer uh, of skin without being harsh. So it will remove that dead layer. Uh, afterwards, you don't have that squeaky clean kind of 
feel to the skin, but also importantly for those that are 35 and older, uh, it also contains a good amount of polyhydroxy acids, specifically, I'll, have, I'll read it out to you, is gluconolactone and maltobionic acids. Those will further reduce impurities, but more importantly for us, it will actually stimulate those cells, making more collagen and elastin. But it also, if you get this product and you read it, it also contains a botanical complex, and that is important to help soothe the skin and calm it down. So also a good face wash for all skin types. Okay, moving on to the last two. This one, the clarifying facial cleanser from Nostrada is specifically for those people that suffer from acne or have oily skin. Also fine to use on people who have sensitive or rosacea, uh, 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 rosacea type skins. Um, this is also a soap free face wash. It is, it has an ingredient, um, that will help to reduce bacteria. It's called triclosan, which is very important. Bacteria is one of the main reasons that we find pimples or blemishes. They uh, find themselves in those pores in the sebum and basically have an ability to create these little uh, blemishes. So that the triclosan will help to get rid of those bacteria for you. It also has gluconolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid, which will help further help to reduce the impurities in the skin, but also to stimulate the skin to make more collagen and elastin. So it also has anti-aging properties. And then finally, we have the foaming glycolic wash from Neostrata. And this, according to Neostrata, and, the, and I, I think we should heed their warning, this is for experienced glycolic acid users. It has a high concentration of glycolic acid, and its main action, its main reason that we should be using this type of face wash is for people who have very rough textured skin or for people who have big pores or very obvious blackheads. This is the start of your treatment regime. It's a good, potent glycolic acid face wash. Um, the the foaming glycolic wash also contains lactobionic acid, which will help to further reduce the impurities and that sebum in each of those pores, reducing their number. It is also soap free uh, and can be used on um, all skin types as long as you're an experienced glycolic acid user. Okay, uh, I think that's the, the end, unless Samantha has something to say. Uh, so, well, how about this, um, Sam, because you've been very quiet today. Uh, how was your day? It was good, thanks. Okay, good. You, for those, okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Thumbs up uh, is all, always a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's the end. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, we've given you the skinny, the lowdown on the different your starter face washes. I hope it makes sense. Facial cleanser, young people, entry level, really good all round face wash, all skin types. Exfoliating wash, that's for the 35 year old and older good anti-aging properties, good exfoliating, good calming properties. Your clarifi clarifying facial cleanser, that's for the oily, excessively oily and the acne prone skin. It has ingredients to take away those bacteria, but also will provide an anti-aging effect. And then your final one is the foaming glycolic. That's for textured skin, those big blackheads, brilliant high, high concentration of glycolic acid. So beware, only use it if, you've, if your skin has been exposed to glycolic acid in the past. Okay, so that's the end of today's show. Thank you for watching and take care. And remember, look after your skins. Bye-bye.